Welcome back to This Little Light. Um, today we're going to be talking about diarrhea. Fun. Everyone knows the song, right? What song? When you're sliding in the first and you feel a little burst. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> I won't sing the rest because I can never remember what second is. Do you remember what second is? No. Third is third when is... you feel a little turd. Yeah. Home, Home is, is when foam. Feeling some foam. Yeah, but second, I have no idea what second is. All right, so as promised, diarrhea. All right, doctor, what is diarrhea? Well, first of all, diarrhea is easily one of the most common problems we see, um, or the most common questions we get besides maybe allergies. But basically, um, diarrhea can come from a few things. Um, it can, in fact, be infectious agents. It can be a viral agent such as parvo. Um, it can be bacterial agents or bacterial overgrowth where the dog has eaten something they're not supposed to and it's just kind of messed up the whole gut. Um, and sometimes dogs just have one or two bouts of diarrhea and then they're fine. Just like, well, just like, so like me, us? And me and you. Yeah. Okay. You don't, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> All right. So like one, one bout of diarrhea, not a big deal. Correct. Most, and the other problem is most people don't actually watch to see what their dogs are doing outside. Um, and a lot of times we'll get calls that their dog is constipated, which happens, but it's much, much, much more rare than the dog having diarrhea. A lot of times what people see is they look outside and their dog's been outside for a long time. And they look out there and they see that the dog's straining. He's hunched over. He's in the pooping position. He is just straining. Nothing's coming Just out. Nothing coming out. So, so the owner thinks it's constipated. But it turns out everything's already come out. Mm -hmm. Dog just feels like there's. Dog just feels like there should be more, but dog, there's not. Right. So okay. the dog's just having serious cramping, um, and just you know you know when you have that really bad diarrhea and you've already let out what you let out, and then. It just keeps cramping and you feel like you just have to sit there and you're going to push your entire intestines out, but you don't because it's all up. All right. So what are the main causes of diarrhea? And we'll kind of go into each of those. So one of the main causes of diarrhea, if we see anything that's a puppy, um, anything under 10 to 11 months of age, um, we're going to want to think about parvovirus. Um, I haven't seen it as much here in Virginia as we did in Michigan, and every place is a little different, but parvovirus is one of those diseases that can cause severe diarrhea, and the reason that dogs die so easily from it is it causes severe dehydration, which is what makes you so sick when you have diarrhea, is you're losing more fluids than you're taking in. Uh, so parvovirus, this is my favorite explanation. So in your intestines, you've got these pili, right? They're these little hairy structures on the inside of your intestines, and they're doing this. Mm -hmm. And they absorb all the nutrients. They just suck it up and just put it into your bloodstream and take it to your liver to be processed. So they're sucking up fluids. They're sucking up food. They're sucking up nutrients. They're sucking up everything. Okay. So parvovirus comes along and destroys the tips of these. So now your pili... Look like this. And they're just not as effective. Well, not only are they not effective, but what would happen if you cut your fingers off? I would bleed. You would bleed a lot. So what happens is when you cut these pili off, they leak tons of fluid into the intestines. And that's what causes such bad diarrhea with parvovirus. Oh. So they're losing fluid. They're not absorbing any fluid. And so a lot of times you quickly get dehydrated. It's like a one-two punch. Exactly. Really? Okay. But uh, Parvo, you, there is a vaccine for, for, for Parvo. Yes. So Parvovirus is very vaccinable. I feel like I'm preventable. Saying, preventable with that readily available vaccines. Um, Sometimes what I would recommend is if you get a puppy, um, first of all, make sure you're wherever you're getting it from has a decent reputation of keeping things vaccinated. Um, second, you know, don't take your puppy anywhere other than your home um, before it's been fully vaccinated. When I say fully vaccinated, I mean has had its full series 
of parvo vaccines. Uh, how many is that? Uh, it really depends on the age that you start, but at least until they're at least until they've had two boosters and they're 16 weeks of age. Okay. Ideally, it's four, right? Well, ideally, you start them when they're about six weeks, and then you do it every three to four weeks until they're 16 weeks old. Gotcha. Um, however, we have seen a lot of breakthroughs with people that do vaccines at home after they've bought the vaccines from, like, feed stores. I don't know why. The theory is is that maybe the, the, the temperature of the vaccines has reached a level that makes them ineffective at some point during the shipping and handling process. But I would highly recommend you go to a vet to get your parvo vaccines. It's easily preventable. And I don't know how much everybody charges differently for the parvo vaccine, but to treat a parvo puppy, you're easily, easily looking in the thousands of dollars to keep yeah. them alive. Hospitalization, fluids. Yeah. So these puppies, they do great with IV fluids, but a lot of times they have to be on IV fluids for up to a week before they start feeling better. All right, so back to diarrhea, because parvo is not the only thing that causes diarrhea. What else out there causes diarrhea? So other things that can cause diarrhea, uh, parasites. Obviously, again, if you're taking your puppy or dog to the vet, then you should be on some sort of preventative. We'll deworm the puppy, and then once you get on heartworm prevention, most of the heartworm, well, all the heartworm preventives have some form of intestinal parasite prevention. And a lot of people say, there's no way my dog can have worms. I don't see any in the poop. But a lot of the worms are microscopic. The only ones you're going to see in the poop are round worms, which look like spaghetti, um, or tapeworms. Huh? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Or tapeworms that um, can either look like really long flatworms, which you'll hardly ever see, or it looks like little rice, rice. grains yeah. crawling out of their butt while they're sleeping on your bed. It's mm. <laughs> adorable. But the other worms, like hookworms and whipworms, and then the, um, um, the what's it, what's it, protozoa, <laughs> the protozoa like coccidia and um, giardia are definitely going to be microscopic. You're not going to see those. Mm -hmm. So if your dog's having diarrhea and it's fully vaccinated for parvo, you probably want to bring in a fecal sample just to make sure that it doesn't have um, any sort of parasites going on. You can do that in the clinic. I mean, it's like what most a ten minute float. You can find most of it that way. Yeah, some of the protozoal like giardia is really hard to see on, on the, in the clinic. Okay. All right. Um. Anything else? But the most common form of diarrhea is when the naughty, naughty owners let their doggies <laughs> eat something that they're not supposed to. So, um, you know, it's. Fourth of July, there's a barbecue going on. Slip your dog a hot dog. And then he blows with diarrhea all over your carpet the next morning. Why is that? Because it's dietary indiscretion. So your dog's intestines, it's gonna get complicated. Not really. So your dog's intestines have a certain balance of bacteria, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you throw it off when you throw in foods that the bacteria are not used to. So all of a sudden, this bacteria that's so used to eating that dog food that they get every day yeah. suddenly has thrown this huge piece of fatty, proteinaceous, something that's differently balanced. Proteinaceous? Yeah. Full of protein? Mm-hmm. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. um, I do make some words up. But... <laughs> that one's not made up. But... Um, so these bacteria, they're all like happy with each other. They're like, hey man, we're yeah, cool. And then all job. of a sudden someone throws them a hot dog and they're like, I'm going to die and you're going to take over. Yeah. And they then just... there's tons of Tonys and no Emilys and there's no balance. And then there's just <laughs> diarrhea everywhere. Their body's just not ready for that food. Right. That happens with us too. Yeah, sure. sure. All right, so... Oh, and the last one? Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, Stress diarrhea. So again, 4th of July. Okay, this say, this, this time you were like, I am not going to feed my dog anything crazy, but I'm going to have my entire family over. Bunch of fireworks. Bunch of fireworks. It's going to be loud. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. That dog is scared crapless. <laughs> there you go. And literally craps everywhere. So just the stress can just cause them to have really bad diarrhea. 
So just be careful. Party times, party times, holidays, that's when we see the most diarrhea vomiting cases. So don't feed them anything they don't normally have, even though it's special. They don't know it's special. They feel special when they don't have diarrhea. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. All right, so we kind of cover this, but what, what are the effects that diarrhea has on the body, on the dog's body, the cat's body, my body? Uh, the biggest effect, short-term diarrhea, well, the biggest effect diarrhea has is dehydration. Um, you just can't keep up. <clears throat> and a lot of times these dogs, once they've had diarrhea for a few days, they then start vomiting. It it travels up, it goes retro up their intestines, the infection, and then it gets to where they don't want to eat anymore, and then it gets to where they're vomiting. So they're losing way more fluids than they're taking in. Okay, anything else? Um, chronic diarrhea can definitely cause weight loss. It can cause um, the lack of uh, nutrients in the body. They can have deficiencies. Um, if you have chronic issues with diarrhea, you'll have to talk to your vet about those issues, but there's all sorts of testing you can do. Um, but I think the biggest thing we're talking about today is acute, acute. nasty diarrhea. And it stinks. <laughs> it stinks. So, <clears throat> how much diarrhea is acceptable? My dog has had diarrhea twice today. Is that okay? Um, is it case by case? So, I'd hate to say that any diarrhea is normal because I don't want anyone to ignore the symptom for very long. But if you see your dog go out and he has a loose stool um, and then he's fine the rest of the day, he's eating, he's drinking, he's not begging to go outside 40 million times to go potty, um, just keep an eye on him. Um, and then if he continues to have diarrhea or gets to where he's waking you up in the middle of the night to go outside, you definitely need to go to the vet. Um, any puppy. Any puppy with diarrhea, lethargy, um, needs to go to the bed. Now, if you have a puppy and you've switched it to some different food and it has slightly moist poop, but it's otherwise happy and go lucky and eating, then I wouldn't worry too much. But any puppy with diarrhea and acting kind of dumpy needs to go to the bed. All right. So, I don't know how much you want to get into this, but like home treatments for diarrhea, do you want to talk about that at all? A lot of people ask us about home treatments. Um, there's a few things I just wanted to put out there. Um, again, home treatments aren't going to take care of the bigger problems. If you see your dog has diarrhea once or twice and you want to try some, you can do like a boiled rice and boiled chicken or boiled rice and hamburger. Just get all the fat out of there and as bland as possible. Um, you can try that. If that's not working, take it to the vet. Uh, a lot of people want to know about Pepto-Bismol. There's a lot of controversy with Pepto-Bismol. It does actually have an aspirin component to it. And if you've already have diarrhea and it's at all bloody or once you have diarrhea, you start irritating that gut lining, you start getting bleeders. And if you add aspirin to the equation, you're going to get more bleeding. Um, so we typically recommend not to give Pepto-Bismol. Um, other things you can try. Like pumpkin? Uh, I mean, does that work? I've heard that before. You can try pumpkin. Basically, though, if your dog needs treatment, you just need to take it to the vet. Seek if, out the vet. Right. If it's going to get over it and it's nothing to worry about, um, yeah, home remedies aren't great. <laughs> yeah. Um, but in the end, he needs to go to the vet. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about about diarrhea? Oh, I got a question. Hmm. So. Somebody comes in, my dog's had diarrhea, mm -hmm. and um, they like to claim it's uh, occasionally mucusy. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. Like a mucusy, bloody diarrhea. What do you mean, what's up with that? Is mucus in it? Well, like usually it's the, 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 the shedding of the uh, intestines, right? Yeah, so yeah, sometimes you can have intestinal sloughing. So those little pillae I talked about will slough off when they're really sick and dying and you'll get pieces of intestinal tissue in your diarrhea and it'll look like bloody mucusy grossness. That's Is that bad. a concern? That's yeah, bad. yeah, that's bad. You want to get them to the vet. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? Um, I can't Parting think. thoughts? Nothing? Parting thoughts. Um, Feed your dog dog food only. Talk to your vet if you have any questions. Don't try any home remedies unless your vet has specifically told you that it's okay to try. All right. Well, 
Hope you enjoy this talk about diarrhea. Hope it flows. <laughs> All right. Have a have a good day. It's a weird sign off. Oh, there's a weird sign off. Yeah, I don't know what to say there. Um may your travels be sputtery. But not your stools. But not your stools. I don't know what travels should yeah. be sputtery. Yeah. Alright, you wanna try another one? This is kind of a weird ending. Okay, bye! Alright, bye. <laughs>